Welcome to another App Manager 8 video. My name is Michi Schniebel. I'm Product Manager for App Manager. And in this video, I'm talking about how to start the Control Center UI and what options you have there. So I double click the Control Center icon and then the splash screen sh shows up and telling you what's happening right now. Uh, you put in your credentials and there's a new option which is sign me in automatically. If I check that box here, the next time Control Center will no longer bother me with these questions, it will just move on and load the UI. So now since I have the UI loaded, I show you the second feature which is you can have multiply instances of Control Center running on the same machine. So this time I double click and there's no questions coming up here. It just goes on and loads Control Center again. So now I have two instances of the Control Center UI on my machine and I can move them for instance uh, to the oh, come on far left. It's not easy to do that in that session here and the far right and now they are side by side um, and you can have you know two different service maps or different views up and running at the same time um, by using uh, different users if you're using uh, SQL authentication. Uh, with Windows authentication, uh, you have to use your current user you logged in. Um, if you are uh, on a Windows 7 machine, you can use the run as command to, to run the console as a different user. So uh, here's another very important thing. Um, how do you um, get the, the question back? How do you get the uh, dialogue with the credentials back if you need it. Um, there's a new button here. It, it's saying exit and sign off. If you hit that button, the next time you log in, it will ask you again for the credentials and it's pretty much unchecking the uh, automatically sign in box.